Hello, welcome to the stream. I am actually risking this video probably possibly getting taken down because of the content, but I wanted to do a stream and talk a little bit about something that uh that's uh near and dear to me in relations to reviews and things like that and popularity and all the uh whole um, you know, craze behind becoming the uh, focus of attention and all that stuff. But anyways, I'm going to do some hardcore here. This morning, I saw a YouTuber I watch get his 1 million subscriber uh, little plaque, little uh, reward. And, you know, he was very humble about it. Like... He was very appreciative of his audience. He told his audience that basically, you know, he wouldn't be where he's at if, you know, if uh, it weren't for the audience. So he knew he got where he was at because he had people who actually cared enough to listen. And his audience um, is definitely one that appreciates his content. One that, uh, stop by regularly every time he uploads because he's got that kind of uh kind of uh attitude kind of presence about him that really really shines that really attracts the audience to him you know, I mean he's very humble he's very real very down to earth you know down to earth he uh you know he's very real with his audience you know comical at times and uh, you know he got his numbers over a span like of like of seven years he says basically you know it, it was like an accumulation over time and you know those first seven years he, he wasn't as uh, wasn't as uh, popular you know, as as he is now, because he grew into, you know, what he is today. He's he's matured. He's he's refined his channel. He stuck with it. He uh, he really stuck it out, and he really listened to the feedback. He 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 did what he loved more than anything, and uh, he did what he enjoyed above you know all else. And I think he has a point when he said, you know, always do, you know, do what you enjoy, do what makes you happy, and the uh, people will come to you, like, you know, trying, trying to force yourself to be the, uh, the number one, you know, YouTuber, whatever you're doing, the reviewer, whatever, you know, forcing it is not going to uh, make it, you know, worthwhile, it's not going to make make uh it's not gonna attract the right people it's not gonna attract the uh right audience it's not gonna allow you to do what you want to do you're gonna you're gonna be a slave to the numbers and uh you know that's kind of what i do with my channels like i, I don't ha i have like probably some of the lowest numbers you know even among friends like i have but like i have dedicated you know followers and they um, all seem to you know stick with me like I don't usually have like a uh, astronomical fallout like a uh, all of a sudden just like people just dropping out left and right and you know like bots or whatever they come there for a reason they uh, they share a passion of gaming like I do I just share simple videos most of the time I uh, do gameplay videos some commentary on occasion I do what I do because I, it's a hobby I enjoy. Like that's why I got on YouTube. That's why I started doing what I did, and um, it wasn't anything else. I'm not looking to get popular, you know. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not wanting to be in the spotlight. I'm not wanting to be this, you know, million subscriber dude. That's not my plan. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know. Uh, I'm not too fussed about it. I'm just, you know, happy doing what I like to do. The same with reviews. Which brings me to another uh, uh, 
interaction I had today with a friend who was concerned that he didn't deserve to get the uh, review material because he is a uh, low viewer count or a low uh, reader count on the internet and I told him like I said uh, said we all deserve a chance you know even us little guys if we are putting forth the effort and doing you know delivering quality work you know we deserve you know, same chance as the uh, bigger outlets do, the bigger review outlets, and uh, that's what I told them. I said not to be uh, ashamed, you know, not to be uh, worried about it, keep doing what you do, you know, and those uh, people will pick up on it. They'll, uh, they'll begin to appreciate you because you like you, you are an honest uh, reviewer and you uh, do the job well and he does the job well like he, he is uh, like I don't understand why he has such low viewers to be honest I think I think a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, streamers like him get like drowned out in the in the similar like sort of I guess subject matter that a lot of people chase after a lot of the popular things like video games or whatever you know people get lost in that uh, <laughs> that sea of uh, streams as it were the whole ocean just people people trying to get noticed I told him to just uh, continue continue doing what he does and one day you know, he'll, he'll get that break, he'll catch that break, and, and it'll be, uh, and he'll be the, uh, he'll be the, uh, popular one. Now, you'll probably notice the, uh, quote I put down at the bottom, you know, popularity by numbers is in no way reflective of being significant or truly appreciated, and that is about as true as it gets. Like, a lot of these reviewers, a lot of these... A lot of these streamers and stuff, they build their audience. But you know, they build their audience on uh, hype, on misplaced hype. They build it on um, what am I trying to say? They build it on like superficial things, like giveaways or, uh, or things like that, or like uh, clickbait titles. They fool people when they come to their channel. And, you know, some people stick by it and they uh, subscribe or whatever. Or they subscribe simply because other people have subscribed. And, uh, and they stay subscribed even though they don't really care, that, you know, anything about the channel. And it's just, uh, popularity isn't the, uh, tell-all, you know, uh, statistics. It's not gonna give you an accurate, accurate uh, worth of a person as a streamer or a viewer or a critic or whatever. It's not gonna always tell you how good that person is in relation to what it is they do. Like, you know, numbers don't always mean everything. I see a lot of people chasing the numbers. I see a lot of YouTubers getting frustrated when they uh, lose numbers or whatever. And, you know, and I've I've pre pretended to do that too on the, uh, on uh, Twitter and whatnot and stuff. But like, really, really, if if people don't want to stick around, if people don't care enough to follow, if they don't care enough to share, you know, it is it doesn't bother me much. Like I said, I'm not here to to be a part of that. Uh, number chasing or that, uh, you know, popularity pool or whatever it is, um, doing what I do because I enjoy what I do. I'm passionate about gaming. I'm passionate about, uh, what it is, what it is I share with the people that actually care. And that's the way it should be for everyone. If you're not having fun doing what you're doing, if you're if you're stressing over numbers, if you're if you're just chasing those numbers and that's all that matters to you, <laughs> then you're not having 
then you're not, uh, not gonna really enjoy, <laughs> enjoy maintaining that, uh, popular status. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a stressful <laughs> job. I just died on that. That was foolish. But, um, it's, it's just gonna become stressful. It's gonna be, it's gonna sap the fun out of whatever it is you are trying to enjoy and get others to, uh, enjoy alongside you. It's just gonna sap the soul right out of it. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna be less, uh, it's gonna, do, it's gonna become a job. I've always said, like, I didn't want to, uh, want my hobbies to become jobs. It's why I don't monetize things. It's why I don't charge or ask, you know, for, uh, you know, help and getting review material or anything from the, uh, audience or anything. I don't, uh, I don't believe in that, I guess. That's not... Not what I do. Because I realized, you know, long ago, like I said um, to many people, it's just, if you turn it into a job, you're gonna end up hating what it is you do. And that was one thing I always wanted to, uh, stay away from in my review career. I wanted to, you know, maintain that passion. Every time I write, you know, feel, you know, have a reason to actually actually do what I do and not be feel forced to do it, you know, like like I have to uh, have to get it done. why I went freelance too, instead of uh, working for an actual site and, ha and like uh, turn it into a job. I just don't feel that's the way the way to go if you want to actually uh, have that dream job where where it's uh, actually what you want to do instead of what you have to do. So, uh, that's my thoughts on it anyways, you know. Yeah, just definitely don't, uh, if you're in it for the numbers, if you're in it for the money, uh, you're gonna end up becoming a slave to it all, and it's, it's gonna, um, it's not gonna be as pleasant as you think it is. Uh, there's a reason, there's a reason, like, Hollywood stars, they, uh, turn to drugs and stuff, because they get, uh, caught up in the, uh, high life, the, uh, the numbers, the money, they get caught up in... You know, maintaining that, uh, visage, the, uh, facade, as it were, trying to, uh, remain popular and whatever. I personally like to, uh, keep it friendly, you know? Um, not think of my, uh, my viewers as as numbers or my uh, subscribers or my readers as uh, statistics I think of them as friends uh, and truly do this is not just a uh, a uh, you know sorta of kiss arse kinda of thing it's just like uh, I truly uh, you know appreciate the people that I uh, that actually stop by, compliment, you know, share things, and actually uh, interact with me, ask me about reviews and games and stuff, and you know, share the passions that I do, and we connect. And I like that part of what I do. I like that more than anything, actually. That's what drives me to keep what, what, uh, doing what I do. Like, it's not so much that, you know, I get to review all these cool games for like everybody else gets to gets to see them and everything. Nah, it's, it's, it's more about the, uh, connection with the, with the, uh, gaming community. The, uh, social, the friends. <laughs> that was probably loud. The friends on social media and stuff. The, uh, people I've, um, you know, met and, uh, you know, held conversations with online and stuff and actually made friends with. I think that's more important. You know, for me, at least, I think it's, it should be important for everyone. I think I think that's the way people should approach it. You know, 
be friendly you know truly connect with your audience don't don't just look at them like like some number some st you know statistic you know like something to get you uh, higher up you know like a stepping stone or a uh, you know stepping stone to the way to the top or whatever actually uh, saw a uh, performer actually uh, actually you know say her uh, one of her relatives said the only way to the top is to step on uh, the backs of other people, and that's, that's a sorry way to look at it. You know, if, if, if you treat your uh, viewers, your audience like that, and you think you think of them just as like a way to get to the top, you're doing it all wrong. Um, it'll come back to haunt you, trust me. They'll see you for what you are eventually, and you'll... Uh, You'll lose, you'll lose those viewers, you'll lose your credit, you'll lose your uh, standing, your popularity. Um, don't do it, you know, it's just, it's just not worth it to connect, or don't, you know, don't do it at all, just, you know, just go about it your own, so that, you know, people will figure it out. They'll figure out if you're genuine or not, if you're uh, in it for all the right reasons. People know who's got the heart who's got the soul and who uh, are as hollow as a uh, dollar bill, you know. Yeah. They, they'll, uh, they'll figure it out. I'm gonna complete this run, uh, make it as far as I can, and try to uh, beat the boss if I get there. And then, then I'll... Uh, Close it up. That's just, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, business in general, review work, and some things I've noticed on the uh, social media. People, people in the uh, line of work that I do, commenting and saying what they said. Uh, if you're curious, this is Shikando Soul Leader. It is a uh, shoot 'em up. Came out recently for the PlayStation 4. It's, it's a Korean uh, shoot 'em up. I initially said Japanese in the review. I went back and changed that, corrected that to to the uh, you know what it's supposed to be. You know, give credit where credit is due. I just died. I can never beat that second boss, like, straight up. I always have to either restart or exit or continue, like, it's, uh, always gets me. Like, this is a very challenging game, by the way. Very fun, though. Uh, one of those high score deals that, like, uh, if you're going for the leaderboards, you can definitely, uh, definitely have a good time with this one. You know, uh, Asian folklore. You know, I corrected that, too. I said it was Japanese. Uh, but it's like Asian in general, like the yokai and the uh, stuff like that. Really cool game. I've been knocked down to the uh, ninth and twenty-first place on the normal. But yeah, yeah, this uh, it'll be a constant like uh, ranking shift. But at least I'm still third on boss rush. Let's see what I am on the uh, customize. I'm five. Let's see what I am. Actually, uh, first place on nov novice and fourth place. So that's pretty cool. Um, hardcore, I'm second place. Not bad. Guy, the guy at the top's got me beat by a mile. Um, but yeah, I don't see many people on leaderboard, so I don't think many people have picked it up. But like, I'd suggest like if you like this type of game, definitely pick it up. Yeah, I enjoy it. I've played it several times since I've reviewed it. It's not something that I, you know I usually do. Like when I review a game, if it's a uh, straightforward experience, sometimes even if it's got replay value, I usually skip it and play something I personally bought or something I personally like to play. I, I review the things for the uh, gamer mainly and uh, the reader who wants to figure it out and let them read about it and shoot, you know watch the videos and whatnot. But I do enjoy this when I come back to it on occasion, try to get that high score because I like this kind of game. 
this is the kind of game I like. And I also like fighting games, and I will be playing Blade Strangers again. Try to see if they ever, you know, fix the netcode or whatever, and I can report on that. But uh, I'm going to blow this YouTube. This could be a 20 plus minute video. Um, hope you got something out of it. Um, you know, thank you uh, for watching. Those of you that you, thank you for sharing. Thank you for, uh, you know, putting up with my nonsense on Twitter, social media, and all that stuff. Um, you know, I appreciate you. I do. And uh, hope to hear from you soon. You know, leave a comment, whatever. Let me know what you think about things on my videos. It's always appreciated. You know, like I said, constructive criticism. You know, it always helps. Um, anything. Anything you have to say, really. Um, let it, you know, put it in the comment section below. But anyway, I'll talk at you later. You know, take care. Enjoy the rest of your week.